And basically, a photo mash, we, what we're going to do, we're going to mock it up here. We're going to give her a bid. <laughs> Alright guys. Now, what I've done, I've downloaded a, a file, it's called a, a bid, uh, PNG, um, portable such and such document, it's called. Anyway, a PNG file, that's what you want, which is a transparent one like this. It comes up in Photoshop like this. So you just go, let's go, image, uh, copy, and go to a face, and paste. So because I'm using Photoshop CC, the 2018 version, this is the one that it's actually uh, you can uh, subscribe to. Um, this Photoshop's a little bit different to the previous ones, whereas the transition, uh, transforming and all that type of stuff. Uh, previous versions of Photoshop already had a square up here around the actual document, and you could actually just click on the corners and go for it and start transforming and doing whatever. Now they've restricted that on these new Photoshop systems. So you've got to go to uh, Edit, and then come down to Transform, and then you have to go to Scale that way. However, if you do it, the scaling is proportion. So even if you come in sideways, no, the whole thing's proportion. If you want to change it, so you can go sideways, or decrease it sideways or, or top down, you hold the shift key down and you can do it that way. So just a little just a little tip for you guys. Now basically what we're gonna do, we're going to reduce the size right down to I have to use the shift button, but it's because it's not the same size shape as her face. I'll come down like this, pretty, pretty much that's the type of look that we're looking at. PNG files are the easiest way to do this, this sort of transparent. So, you know, we got some fine little touches we do. Now, we go up to edit, well, basically what we're going to do now, we're going to change this section here and morph it out and we'll change it all different directions, get around here so it's up there, lips up there. We're going to go to edit, transform and warp. And basically anywhere in the actual picture that you're doing, you can actually change it. So we're going to go like this because you know, basically uh, the beard going to be given by the one here. So anyway, I'm just going to make it so Okay. Now, when you do some blending and stuff like that, morphing and stuff like that, it actually tends to uh, blur the image that we just used. So look, she's quite sharp looking in the image of her. And this is all blurred. So now we're going to get her image Oh, sorry, filter, sharp, it's no sharp there. Okay, that's more larger, like that's what we want. All right, now if I go up to the layer, uh, now this is the layer that we're working on here with the beard. Now we've got it in the position where we want to have it. Now, what I'm doing here, I'm just going to go to the laser tool. Now, I'm just going to before I use the raise tool, I'm going to change the opacity here on the right of this layer with the beard. First go 100 percent and let's bring it down. And then basically what happens is that the image goes down like that decreases. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to remove this part of the beard. So I'm going to hold down the R button, I'm going to rotate this way like that with the cursor. And hold the shift key down so I can look it down. So now I'm just going to go along here like this, put it here. Yeah, I'm going to go here. So I'll hold down the R key again. I'll sort of move it around to the other side. And the other side looks pretty well done. So that's pretty much the other side. Hold in the R key again, turn it around. There we go. Yeah. Zoom out, right click. Put on screen. Okay, she's looking a bit funky with it now. <laughs> okay, go. <there. Yeah. coughs> Excuse me. 
Now, okay, now we've got to fix up around the mouth here and all this type of stuff. Um, two different things here. We can actually duplicate the image. Duplicate the R. Okay. Now you get the bottom one. Now, two things we can do. We can actually use the erase tool. Uh, wherever the lips are. Come like that. Uh, especially on the left the nostrils. So that looks a little bit more realistic. Now I'm just touching. Tap, 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 tap. Because we're dealing with a big beard, beard mustache. And that's one way of doing it like that. Okay, so you've got the lips protruding through, you don't have a beard or a moustache growing in your lips. Now, I really wish to, I'm just going to go around these little ears more here. That's one way of doing it. Uh, other way, I'll wipe up the other, the other one there is to reshape it. So if I go back to image, transform, and go to warp, and I can bring it down, we can do things like this. Or, if I go back, I do warp. Now, we can do this. We get the lasso tool, up in the left here. And you can just select a section. Okay, so I'm just gonna select the top part of the moustache here. Now I can go to the transform and walk. Now I can just walk this section, this is a little bit. This is what a lot of people do. Uh, works out for a lot of people doing it this way. So it's up to you. Okay, and of course, we select, filter, sharp. So that's the other way of doing it. Now, firstly, I, I, I like the line better. Yeah. So I'm going to work with this one. Now, that's too dark. It's too, the, the resolution and everything else is miles too dark. It's a poor girl. It's going to hate me. She sees this. It's um, now, we're going to go to. Vibrant. Bring the vibrant down. It's a little bit too vibrant. Saturation, bring it down. Now, the lightness. Bring it down. Now, the lightness, put it on the contrast. Now, the thing is, she's a block. Most of the times, if I want to do something like this, I look at whatever the color of, not the hair. I look at the colour of the eyebrows. Whatever the colour of the eyebrows are, if it's a guy, that's obviously that's what colour you know, is here, or what his mouth is going to be. You know, we can't duplicate that. I mean, we can, but it's going to be hard to do that. We've change views and the kind of saturations and everything else, and already this view is black, so it's going to be very really hard to change the colour. So if I change the hue, I'm not really getting that. So a tinge of blue is basically what. So we're just going to change a couple of things here. You just play around with all these different things, like vibrance, you know, is it, is it too vibrant? Saturation, saturation is always in there, just where everything you can select. Um, now brightness, I'm just going to take a little bit more brighter, contrast there, change the colour. And I'm going to put a bit more reddish. No, yeah, it's, you can see it's changing over. Now I'm just going to blur it because it's a little bit too much. There we go, guys. Yeah. <laughs> of course. This is terrible. I don't know why I'm doing this. People have asked me to do it, so it's strong. Now, when you're dealing with a, a beard or any hair or anything like this, it's spotted, you know, you get the five o'clock shadow and you're trying to work something out the way. Um, if you're going to use the eraser tool, use the spread of spacing. Spacing gives you to see what's going on here. You get a bit of an idea of what's going on there. So if I go to this, it's not doing the whole entire beard. See, it's doing that. And they call that spacing. So I'll just go back again. So if I change things a little bit longer, bigger, it's going to take big ones. They don't want that. We want little ones. 
Uh, I'm just going to take a couple bits and pieces out because it's just a bit too full on this beard. Uh, have it a bit more, a bit more natural looking. Uh, I don't know, it's just a little bit too full on, I think. I think it's just got a beard. But, any, any act is going to kill me after they really see this type of stuff on the end. Um, so what we're doing here, I'm actually just going around the edges because it was a little bit too full on, like sharp, detailed at the edges. Um, so I'm just going around, just doing this stuff, just, just going around really slightly, really lightly doing it this way. And so as you see graduation of, you know, where the hair is coming into effect, you know, you know before it gets into the front of you. So it's not completely all beard. Or completely no beard. So, yeah. Alright, guys, so we're pretty much there. I'm just gonna take it off and keep it there. Now, you can do some more tweaking. Like, see how the chin comes in here? It comes in, it's got the indentation here. If the beard doesn't show it. But, yeah. If you want to, you can go into edit. Transform, walk, you can walk that section, you know, walk it around and do all that stuff down if you want. I'm not going to go there. Um, that's, you know, I'll, I'll, for argument's sake, let's do it. Why not? Transform, walk, it's going to walk this little section just here. Okay. Pulls out, go there to sharp, keep it sharpen. So we've got a bit more action going on here where it's come in. Now, because I've, I've done a certain section, see this little line here? That's from my detail. That's from where I selected it. If it's the last detail, we have changed the name from there. What I've done, if I'm like this, you can see where I've had it, and that's where I did the alteration. Now, <coughs> excuse me. Um, now, the only thing that we've got to do now is Okay, go up to the layers. Now, it looks pretty good as it is. Brand, fair enough. It just doesn't look quite realistic. Something's wrong. So go up to here, the layers. Up on top of the layers here, you've got normal, dissolve. See what's happening to the image. Um, what's the image? What happens when I do have to reset every single different thing? Go darken or normal. Darken, I could do that. Multiply. Now, darken seems to be the one. Multiplied to be too dark. <laughs> Color burn, no, lonely burn, no. So these are all darker, darker. Light, there's nothing there, of course, green, nothing. Color dodge, then you get into all the, the lighter side of things. Um, you've got this one, soft light. Uh, and the soft light, yeah, it kind of looks like she's a bit of a pretty girl or something. <laughs> Not what we're looking for, hard light. Um, go for hard light, you do that. So, so there's all these different things that you can go for. Um, we'll go for hard light, there we go. So that's a little bit more of a realistic type so Now the opacity, we're gonna just change the opacity to make here. Um, just a touch, not too much, that will do. Yep, there we go. Now, if you flatten it, <coughs> layer, flatten the image. Yeah, I don't want to know because I got to keep me layer there. Now, remember before where we went into something here, I sort of selected something, and it's got the little mark there. All right, what we're going to do, we're going to get the spot filling tool or the patch tool. And we're just going to go around this little section here and duplicate another area. All we have to do, that's all we have to do. That's all we have to do. Right. So now you can't even tell where that line was. While we're at it, so you've got a couple of little, you know, it's, uh, it's, it's normal, you know, everyone's got this imperfection. Well, let's, let's change it so she's looking hot, really hot with a beard. <laughs> In other words, get rid of these little marks on her head. Poor thing. 
someone knows her or anything like this, they're going to kill me. Um, it's like any of these celebrity photos that I touch up and do stuff with anyway. Anyway, well guys, I'm just about finished with this now. Uh, there she is with the beard, the poor thing. Uh, um, I hope you guys liked the video and the tutorial. And let's hope that this will help a lot of other people out there who want to be able to do this type of stuff. So don't forget to subscribe and put in the comment section down below anything you want to see. The tutorial on you know, how to put a beard on a beautiful model. Or how to make someone look beautiful, how to make someone look ugly, whatever the case may be. Put it in the comments below and I'll see if I can help you guys out. Cheers, thanks for watching.